beautiful people of YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing another tag. Tomorrow I'm going to do a Christmas look, red and green. I filmed this look. It's It was supposed to be a Christmas look, but I lost the fucking footage. So, yeah, so I'm going to have to redo that, this one too. But it's like a gold. Anyway. Yeah, I was so pissed off because I took the time to film it and then it just deleted. Alright, let's get to the tag. It's called the Glow Up in Beauty Tag and there's 12 questions. Question number one. What is the worst beauty advice that you've ever gotten? Oh, you know what? I hate when beauty gurus, gurus tell you how to not do your makeup. Like, bitch, I'll do my fucking makeup however I want. I hate when they do those videos where do's and don'ts. No, there is no wrong way to do makeup. You do makeup however you fucking please. Don't listen to any of those people. They think they know everything about makeup and how to do it perfectly. Please. You know, I watch some of their videos, or I used to watch some of their videos, I don't even watch like big beauty gurus anymore because they're all just so full of themselves and shit like that and I just don't believe a word they say. Alright, yeah, so, yeah, that. Question number two. What is the worst beauty advice that you've ever given? I don't know. I don't think I've ever given any Bad beauty advice. I don't do that. I don't believe in that. No. Question number three. What beauty product did you struggle with the most? And what is your worst experience with a product? What beauty product did you struggle with the most? Eyeliner. Like liquid eyeliner. Like I, I never do it because I have shaky hands. I have anxiety and my hands shake. So I have trouble doing that all the time. I've tried, but I can never, ever, ever get it right. And that says, what is your worst experience with a product? Not getting the winged eyeliner. Like, not getting it. You know what the worst part is? Not getting it here, like, straight and even. I could do the wing, but I can't get it on here nice and even. Yeah. Sucks. Question number four. What beauty product did you use used to use a lot back in the day but would never use now? Oh, it's um, a CoverGirl bronzer. It's like a little compact. I used to use that thing all the time. And from middle school to high school, I would use that and eyeliner and that was it. That bronzer, I still have it to this day. I don't use it, but I still buy it because of memories. And you know, it was like one of my first bronzers. So, yeah. Question number five. What makeup technique or techniques did you struggle with the most when first learning how to do makeup? Um, probably eyeshadow. Yeah. yeah. Like blending it right and getting it all right in the crease and placing it in the crease right and the outer V. Everything else I knew how to do. Picking the right colors, you know, that kind of shit. Question number six. What makeup techniques do you struggle with currently and want to improve? Uh, like I said, liquid eyeliner. I want, I want to do it. I want to do it so bad. But maybe I could try an eyeshadow instead of a liquid eyeliner. No, but I really want to try a liquid eyeliner and just get it right. So I'm going to practice. Yeah, I, I want to do that. Question number seven. 
What is a beauty product that you never thought you'd buy but now own? Mm. A luxury makeup like Dior foundation, the Charlotte Tilbury powder that I bought. Like I never thought I would spend that kind of money on foundation or a powder. Like I'm, I've always been like a drugstore girl, even though It Cosmetics is my favorite brand and that's quite pricey. So I shouldn't really say that, but I never thought I would buy like Dior or um, Lancome or Estee Lauder or, you know, like brands like that. Okay, question number nine. If you had to restart your beauty collection, what are some things that you would do differently? Um, okay, I'm not like everybody and have to buy them Alex Blinderos. I have a nice wood vanity that all my makeup is in, but I would like to get a nicer um, vanity and organize, like clear organizers, although I do have some, and organize it better because I am a very organized person. So I would like to just get a better vanity and organize it better, even though it is really organized right now, like by brand, by blush, by bronzer, by foundation, you know, that kind of shit. So yeah, I would like a new vanity, a better one. Not them out, my draws, a vanity. With a chair that I could sit down and do my makeup and have the drawers right there and get like clear organizers for everything, yeah. Okay. Question number 10. What is the worst makeup look that you've ever done? <laughs> Halloween makeup tutorials are not my thing. So I don't like doing them unless it's like something like um, orange and black eyeshadow or some shit like that. But other than that, mm -mm. <sighs> Question number 11. What is the best makeup look that you've ever done? Oh, I don't know. God. Christmas looks, I guess. I don't know. Last question. What beauty advice would you give a beauty lover slash makeup artist slash beauty influencer? Be yourself. Don't be fake. I hate fake people. Um, I'm, I'm myself. I'm not fake. If I burp, I burp. If I fart, I fart. I don't edit my videos. I hate editing. I think that takes away the reality of everything that's going on or what happens in your video. I don't like to edit. I like real time and what happens in the video stays in the video. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just be yourself. Have fun. You like doing makeup? Just have fun. Do what you want. You want to do fucking blue eyeshadow? Mixed with green and orange and all the colors of the fucking rainbow and draw fucking lucky charms and all that shit on your face. Go for it. What the fuck? It's makeup. Have fun. You know? I hate when people are like, well, I'm just a neutral kind of girl. Look, I want to start playing with colors more. Like, I want to do blue, purple. I want to do like a color series again. Because I was doing it that I stopped. Alright, yeah, that's it. Just be your fucking self. Do, just have fun with makeup. That's it. You know? Fashion, whatever it is that you're doing. Alright, so that was the glow up in beauty tag. I tag whoever the fuck wants to do it, because every time I tag somebody, not many people watch my videos anyway. Not many people comment on my videos anyway, so whoever wants to do it, do it. If you don't, don't. I'm just making the tag, making the video, because I want to start filming more for myself. Because not a lot of people watch my videos, and not a lot of people comment on my videos. I don't know why. Because they're too busy watching Jacqueline Hill and Tati and all them other fucking people who take away everybody else's fucking views and... I just don't like that. Like, nobody else, a lot of people that I like don't film anymore. Like Makeup by Shay, Louise. None of them really film anymore. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I haven't been filming either because 
I feel like everybody and their mother is taking away, like, all them people are taking away our views. Like, nobody cares about lower YouTubers. They just want to watch all the big ones. And I don't give a fuck about any of them. My stomach is growling like a son of a bitch. Alright, well, that is the end of the tag, the glow up and beauty tag. So, whoever wants to do it, do it. If not, don't. I don't care. I'm just doing it. Tomorrow I'm going to do a green and red eyeshadow look for Christmas. And then the next day I'll do a gold, silver and gold one. I don't know. I'm going to keep doing videos, so. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. And again, this is called the Glow Up and Beauty Tag. 12 questions. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.